Okay, so why don't we get started with the Unreal Engine setup. Now, usually I have a template video where people will have the template ready and we just duplicate that and use that as the starting point. But as this is for a beginner audience, we're gonna go through the whole project setup process together. So open up Unreal Engine 5.5, really anything in the 5.4, or any newer should be okay because we're not going to be doing exactly anything super advanced. So we can launch and let's go ahead and wait for it to open. Okay, so now that it's open, let's go into games. We're going to make a blank project. All of this is fine for the defaults. Let's just make sure and set up our uh, project file directory. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go into interact select that folder and the project name is going to be lbt since this is called learn by theory and it's going to be season one project one okay and we're just going to create and let's wait until the project loads Okay, now that your project file is open, the first thing we're going to do immediately is to turn off real time to save some performance while we are editing. And the first thing I like to do is to create a new blank level, new level here, and then create an empty level. Great. We can save this into our content. Let's right click and make a new folder. Underscore map is how we do it. That's for the most important contents of our project we put an underscore double click to open let's rename it to map one and so this what you see here is the scene of your um, game and you can have multiple maps and you can move between them but anyways that this is where we're going to be placing our stuff okay now that the map is made we're going to select this map as the main map that we go into when we open the project that's going to be in maps and modes in project settings okay and so drag here and you can click on this gear icon and show engine content of false so only your files in your project will show up so that do the same one for here and we need to work on this one next Okay, so what are game modes? Now, if you're listening to this and you've never heard of game mode, never seen it before, I would say pay attention to it, but you don't really have to worry about it uh, because it's way like out of the scope of this course. But anyways, all you have to understand is that unlike other 3D packages, let's say, you know, you can have like nothing in the scene and you can still render something, right? Uh, but with Unreal Engine, 3D is 3D, I get it but there are like minimum components that you have to have just to even like run the game, like render nothing, right? And game mode is one of them. And basically it's like the CEO of your you know, program and it kind of like looks over other components in your game, like the player controller, usually used for like handling kind of inputs in different contexts. You have uh, pawns, which are controllable characters, you know, the main character that you take control over. Uh, but in our case, we have none, none of that stuff, right? We just want fixed camera or whatever, or it could be moving camera, and it's single scene, and there's no game, right? And so we don't have to worry about game modes. Now, what I like to do is to create a new folder because game modes are part of blueprints. Underscore BP for blueprints, let's enter. We're gonna drop it into a specific folder, call it GMB for game mode based. Let's enter and okay, actually before we create the our own game mode, I'm gonna show you what the issue is with using the default game mode is, right? And so let's set up like a super basic scene. So just drop a plane in, zero this out, put in a directional light, also zero that out. And what you wanna do is to get a cinema camera, which is this one here, drop it in put it to zero and then move it up 10 in uh, Z and then try like zooming out to like minus 200 maybe. That should be okay. We can pilot the camera here. That looks fine to me. Okay, now go into your level blueprint. Don't worry, I'll explain this later. Now, 
I'm going to set this camera to be the, the camera that I'm going to be looking through in the viewport. So right click to create a reference to our camera. We need to get the player controller. So do get player controller. This one here with the player index there and type in set view target with lend from the return pin, connect this to event begin play and new target down here and then just compile and save and run this game. Okay, and then click in and try to like move your mouse and so you see that weird sphere? This is our default pawn. This is like a character, right? And sometimes you get instances where people are creating stuff with my course and they're like, hey, this is this weird sphere I never put in it. And that's because you don't know the existence of game modes. And it's that you have, as you can see here, game mode selected, the default game mode, which comes with the playable character. We don't need that, right? And that's why we need to make a custom game mode. So let's do that right now. So in the game mode base folder, we're going to make our own one, which is going to be completely empty. It's just that it's required to run it. So we just have to make it, even though it's an empty, unconfigured uh, game mode base. OK. Now let's right click and also make a pawn, which is the playable character, which is going to be unconfigured. But we're still going to make it anyway. So BP pawn. Let's do a control shift S and in the game mode base, click on it. And then in the default pawn class, we're not going to use the default spawn. We're going to use our own BP pawn, which will have no setup. So when we run this, right, and you click into it and use the WASD keys, you're not going to see anything, hopefully. Okay, let's just see. You Oh, what the heck? Oh, right, my bad. That's because I didn't set it here to our new one. So BPGME, that's our own one. And if you do that, you should be able to come here and see that it's been changed. Run it now, and there you go. The sphere is gone. OK, and so that's it for the game mode based setup. OK, so final steps for the project setup. All we need to do now are some small settings that we have to do. So let's go to project settings. And I need to turn off auto exposure because, again, it makes sense for a video game. As you're walking around in the scene, your lighting can change. But we want fixed lighting. So you turn this off, which is way easier to work with rather than placing in a post-process volume, which is something you do a little bit later down the line. Uh, that's fine. And then let's search for frame. And I'm not liking this new thing with the variable frame rate. It's kind of like super low. And so I like to go back to the old one, which is a six, uh, fixed frame rate of 60, which is perfect for normally installations. So that's fine. And I think we're good to go there. And another setting I like to change is in the editor preferences. So go there. Wait for it and go into Asset Editor Open Location to Main Window. So what I like personally is when you open new assets, it gets docked automatically into your main UE editor. And so that's it for setup. Uh, we're not going to be using any plugins. And project settings, we are fine. So let's close this out. And let's get back into our map one. Uh, okay, I forgot to explain one more thing that I said I was going to explain, which is what is this thing, right? So every map has code that is specific to this map only, to this scene, and it can be found over here, open level blueprint. And what is this code, right? So basically, all you need to know is that, hey, I have this camera that's very local to my scene. This is very specific. It's this one in this map, okay? And then I want you here to look through this camera, right? And this stuff controls which camera it's looking through, player controller, and this is what the function to set it. That's all you need to know, right? And also, for some reason, some people really get confused about how you get references to stuff in the level. It's basically 
you click on it and then you go in here and right click to do this. Now this is only possible with the level blueprint, but you cannot do that with stuff in separate blueprints. And the reason why is that when you place things in the level, it creates references automatically. So that's why you can right click and find it. Uh, with blueprints, uh, it's a separate file, right? Separate class. It doesn't know about the stuff that's in your scene. You have to manually set it. And that's all you need to know. Okay, so based on the plan that we made using the node editor, what we're going to do is to create the five different blueprint actors. So let's go into blueprints, right click and click on that. And we're going to create the most basic type of blueprints, which is the actor. Right, and the first one is going to be the mouse click. And I'm going to put one here. And the reason why I put one is that when I go ahead and duplicate, for example, it will automatically change it to two and increment it for you. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one is going to be BP, what is it called? Um, switch. Switch one. Now, because these are the same, we can just go ahead and duplicate this stuff and then lid one. Let's duplicate that with control D. Let's rename this to arm one. The last one is going to be, right, my bad. D and it's going to be called switch. No, sorry, state machine. State machine. There you go. And we can control shift S to save all. All right, so that's it for the project setup. If you're new to all this, pretty wild, isn't it? Because we just spent 10 minutes just to set up the project and we haven't been able to make anything. And this is what Unreal Engine is about. All right, but look, if you're still invested, if you want to keep learning, click on the next video.